Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to point root domains to your LightCell CDN service. Um, if you have followed any of my previous videos on setting up the LightCell CDN service with, for your WordPress website or for any other uh, application instance in the LightCell platform, you know that when you create a CDN, LightCell assigns uh, your distribution a domain name and it goes by something like D and then followed by some characters cloudfront.net now if you want to point your custom domain your own domain to this cloudfront.net based domain you are asked to create uh, CNAME records at your DNS hosting provider and those CNAME records are set up so that your domain can point to the cloudfront CDN domain it is not possible or many DNS providers don't allow you to create CNAME records at the root domain level. And just to be clear, the root domain basically means your domain name without anything in front of it. No www or anything. So example.com or mukesh.me, you know, those are root domains. And many DNS providers don't provide you the capability to create a CNAME record at the root domain level. However, AWS Route 53 service does allow you to do that. And in this video, I will show you how to set up the AWS Route 53 DNS service to create root domains pointing to your CloudFront uh, CDN service by using their alias feature. So without further ado, let's get started. Started, what I have so far is a LightCell CDN a WordPress instance running. I've configured this with the CDN service or a distribution service. So as you'll see here, I have a distribution set up configured for this instance. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here we go. Here's my distribution and it is connecting to the WordPress CDN service. Um, and I also have a custom domain already validated. So I have the certificate created. I'm using my sample domain, mdub.site. And I have two domains covered in this certificate. This is mdub.site and then www.mdub.site. So I can show you how to create both of those records on the Route 53 service. Um, if you want to learn how to create a distribution and connect it to your LightCell CDN service, um, I will put a link up in the card above to my previous tutorials, or you can just check out my channel. And there are, along with those video tutorials, I have 50 plus other video tutorials on how to use the AWS LightCell platform optimally. All right, so um, what we need to do to connect um, a custom domain to a distribution is First, come here and enable the custom domains. And this is only available after you have a certificate created and validated. So I will go ahead and hit the toggle to enable the custom domains. And that typically will take a couple of minutes uh, for that to get provisioned on the AWS uh, LightCell CDN or CloudFront uh, service.
Okay, so now my distribution is enabled to use the custom domain www.mdub.site as well as mdub.site. So the next thing we need to do is point the domains, that those two records, to my CDN's default domain, which is this D followed by a bunch of characters, as I mentioned, dot cloudfront.net. So we have to set up that connection. So to do that, let's go ahead and point um, our browser to the AWS console, or you could just click on the AWS icon on top in your LightSail dashboard. So when we come to the AWS management console, you will find the Route 53 service. You can search up here, just type in Route 53, and then click on the Route 53 service here. And that brings you to the Route 53 dashboard. Um, and then what you want to do is transferring your domain's DNS services over to Route 53. What you will first do is create a hosted zone. And when you create that, it will give you the uh, name servers that you'll update at your DNS registrar's name server location. So once you've done that, then the domain will be available here for you to configure and add additional DNS zone records. So I've already done that. And you can see if I click on mdub.site, uh, these are my name servers that I have already updated at my domain registrar where I have registered mdub.site. If you don't have a domain yet and you're watching this tutorial, you can use Route 53 to register a brand new domain uh, through AWS. So that is also an option if you don't have a custom domain just yet. If you do have a custom domain, then just add a hosted zone and update your name servers. That way your DNS management is now being provided by Route 53. Now, once you've done all of that, you'll see this kind of a screen where you have your domain and then your records that have been created to support your domain. Uh, I have about, I have three records. Top two were already created by AWS when I transferred my domain here. And then these last two are CNAME records that I set up based on the certificate information. So when you add, when you create a certificate for your distribution, they will ask you for, to create two CNAME records to validate that you indeed own your domain. So that's what these two records are for. What I'll do is come here and hit create record. And then I will want, uh, I want to point the www dot, I don't need to add the dot, but www.mdub.site. I want to create that. The record type, you will select CNAME. So that's what I will do. And then we need to type in the value or the destination that it will point to. So we'll come up here and copy this cloudfront.net based domain and paste that here. And it looks like I copied a little bit more information. So take all of that out. And just be sure, do not put HTTP in front of that or anything else. It should just be your domain name complete, uh, starting with the D. And leave all of these other settings the same and basically hit create records. So that one was created successfully. I'm now going to go ahead and create the second record. And then this time, do not put anything up here and select C name or actually, uh, leave it to A, we're creating an A record type. And then what you want to do here is come in and toggle this alias switch on. And then it says choose an endpoint. And you, what you'll do is you'll say alias to CloudFront distribution. So just to be sure you're creating your record, you're putting an at in the record name, you're leaving the record type as A, and then you're selecting alias to CloudFront distribution after you have toggled on the alias feature. And then here, where it says choose distribution, you will just type in or paste in the CloudFront domain that you have been assigned when you set up the distribution, this one. And then basically hit create record. And that record was successfully created as well. So now we have both of the records set up. We have the mdub.site and it's an A record. So that's the root and that's pointing to the CloudFront distribution. 
And then I also have www.mdub.site, and that's also pointing to the CloudFront distribution. And actually, now that I come think about it, let me try to edit this. I don't think I need an at sign in front of that. Uh, let me see if, if, it'll, if we just leave it as blank, will it work? Looks like it did. So yeah, so just a correction, do not put an at sign in front of that in the record name, just leave it blank. Now what we wanna do is let's test this out. Um, so I will open up a new tab and go to dnschecker.org. And we will type in M, let's do the first one, www.mdub.site. And we know that that was a C name record. So let's just hit search. And looks like that has already resolved um, across all of the DNS uh, servers. So the propagation has been successful. Sometimes it only takes a few seconds. Sometimes it takes maybe an hour or so. So now let's test the other domain, uh, the root domain. So without anything in front of my domain, and we know that that's an A record, let's see where that points to. So as you'll see, that that is pointing to an IP address and about four IP address, and those will be different. And as I mentioned, CloudFront CDN or LightCell CDN does not have a single static IP addresses. They have a revolving set of dynamic IP addresses. So these IPs will always be different based on the different parts of the world. Basically, these are IP addresses for the edge locations that are nearest to the location um, that's shown right here. So that's why these will always be different. So that's good. Now, if I open up a new browser window and type in www.mdub.site, that should point to my sample so, uh, light cell instance, which is a WordPress. And I just installed a sample test blog just to show you that that's working. And you will see that it is on HTTPS, which was the CDN, a certificate that we set up. Now the test is we need to point the non dub dub dub, the root domain, and that should also work. So if I open up a new browser and I'd say mdub.site, Remove this. I may also have a redirect already. No. Okay. So as you can see, mdub.site, https colon slash slash mdub.site is also loading the site. Now what you could do is set up a redirect. Let's say you want mdub.site, your root domain, to be your primary doma uh, uh, domain for your website. So you can set up a redirect using HT access or you can install a redirect plugin in your WordPress installation and redirect www.mdub.site over to your root domain. Or if you wanna go the other way around, keep www.mdub.site as your primary domain, then you would redirect this domain over to your www. Again, you can use HT access or you can use a plugin uh, that's available in the WordPress plugins repository. So I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, share this video with others if they may find this beneficial as well. Um, and I believe someone did ask me uh, this question on how to do this in the comments. So I made a video for that. So if you do have any questions around how to do something and I am able to make a video for that, I will certainly do that or I will try to help you through the comments. So please ask your questions in the comments. Uh, check out all my other tutorials. There are 50 plus, maybe now 60 videos uh, around tutorials on web hosting services, LightCell, AWS, WordPress tips and tricks, and everything in between. So do check them out, comment, and like them if you find those useful. And until the next video, take care. Mm -hmm.